Hey guys, it's me, Stormy, and so first of all, let me say I apologize for looking a little rough tonight, but I did want to get this video up because I wanted to give you guys another perspective video to put things in perspective for yourself. So many of us are having these really big different life switches. It's like, oh my gosh, I'm getting highly creative. I'm moving towards healing things. I'm moving towards artsy things. I'm moving in a completely different direction than I ever thought I would go in my life. And I am in this fear that I'm not going to make it. One of the biggest things we do when we have these career swaps, right? Or when we start going towards what we feel really called to as we have, first of all, the big fear of financial failure, right? Where it's like, okay, I cannot make money off of making YouTube videos. There's no way I will starve, right? Like that's the thought and that's the fear that rises up. Um, how will I pay my mortgage? How am I going to take care of these kids? I'm already a single parent or I already don't make enough and blah, 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 blah. All of the things that come up that are very real personal human fears. So one thing that I want to give you in this perspective video is the question of, are you still trying to live life the way that you used to live life with the ideas that money is king, that that's what defines your life, that that defines what you're doing with your family and out in the world? Because that may not work anymore. I want to invite you to the concept of the new rich, right? And actually, Tim Ferriss talks about this in his book, The 4-Hour Workweek. Now, I can tell you, I was not interested in having a four-hour work week, but I can tell you that I see five clients a day make time in my life today to have a siesta every working day. And that is the value of my new richness today, right? The new rich means what's valid for you? What's priority for you? When Stormy Grace was being creative, heck yeah, I had a whole bunch of fear about how is this going to go. I don't even know if this will ever, ever take off. It might just be... Um, a hobby that I do. I have children. I have a car. I have a house. Like, you know, all of those things came up for me. But what I noticed is that I was like, oh, well, while I'm working at this job that, yes, I do love, someone else is actually raising my kids because I'm sending them to school for eight hours a day. And then in order for me to be at this job that love it or not love it, then I am having to pay daycare for before and after care. And then I'm having to pay daycare and absorbent amounts of money of that throughout the summer. Now, I do not want to put down at all anybody working in child care. Let me be clear, the daycare that I paid worth every dime. Some people are called to that kind of work and those people helped me love and raise my children and we did it like this. What happened was is that I changed. My priorities got different. I wanted to be parent first before I was anything else in the world. So when creating Stormy Grace, the idea was, here's what I want this to look like to me. Here's what's important. What's important to me is that my children get to become first. Why right after God? You know what I'm saying? That I can be there for them first. I can be at the classroom, things they've got going on. I can be available after 2 p.m. when they're out of school to do homework. I can be available on the weekend to be the um, orange mom at the sports things. That was a priority for me. And if I had waited until I achieved, you know, financial freedom working in radio in Colorado Springs, I was going to not ever be able to really experience that, right? The other thing that was a priority for me was to have downtime. I realized through meditation, through spiritual contact, and through honesty with working with my spiritual teacher, I am of the siesta variety. That midday Time out for 30 minutes is critical and important to my mission, right? And I wanted to, from there, have the energy to be mom when it was time for me to be back in mom mode, right? Then I wanted to be an astrologer and a servant to what's out here in the world. Those were my priorities. And you know what came last? That I wanted to make money. And you know what happened? When I reprioritized my life like that, I started making money like I never could have even imagined and not that I didn't make it and it lasted for five minutes. I made money and I continue to make money and I continue to hand a very intimate, genuine version of myself to you guys and what I do. And that is what's calling us to be connected. But this is the version of the new rich. The new rich says, 
I don't get up in the morning and hate my job. I don't get up in the morning and hate my life. I can spend time comfortably with the people in my life without worrying that we're not all going to be taken care of, right? I can stop saving for retirement and hope to God I live long enough to get that retirement, right? It means I have structured my life and the way I'm doing things to, yes, put things aside for savings, but to also take little mini retirements, little mini vacations in my life, not feel bad about them, and enjoy and take the people that I love with me. That is the version of the new rich. That is the version of career and mid-heaven freedom that is available for all of us to move into this day. But how do you do that? How are you going to do that? The very first thing you've got to identify, the very first perspective you've got to get in order, I think, and what worked for me, is first of all, where am I with this divine energy? Am I plugged in or am I living life the way I just want to live life, hoping that it all works out? That's not going to work. Some of the most successful people have discipline in their life. Do you have a disciplined spiritual practice that you are accountable to every day of your life? regardless of what that is. Second of all, what is your next priority? What do you want to be able to do every day? What do you want to be available for every single day? And for some people, it's going to be, I want to be available every day to work 14, 15 hours because it brings me joy. For other people, it's going to be, I want to be available to go wind sailing because that's what brings me joy. Start to get your perspective on what your actual priorities are in order. And this is how you begin to step into the new rich. And the thing is, is when you suit up and show up to the universe and say, um, I'm joining the new rich tribe, the universe gets in line. Your teachers come to you to show you how to do this. You can energetically prepare yourself to be out in the world. Long gone, I think, are the days of only feeling like you have to work yourself crazy into the bone and you can only do one industry one way if you're going to be successful. That's not that idea doesn't live out anymore, but it doesn't mean that it doesn't take courage and it doesn't take recognition to step into this space of doing being the new rich. So my question for you is, are you a part of the new rich? What is your new rich? What is your new today as the new, more authentic version of yourself? What is your new definition of success and failure? Because they're yours and they're personal. So you get those in line and you can get on the uh, on the old train of joining the new rich. You can start to have life that looks a lot different than you ever did. I can't tell you how many times just this year and we are only in May, I've had the opportunity to take small breaks with my family, put astrology, put school, put everything down, take my hands off of my career life, enjoy the people next to me, and have a break, right? That, to me, is the new rich. So, I hope that you guys learned a little bit of something, got a little bit of a perspective swap in here, and it is hard. We have come from a reality and a teaching of reality that you need to be a this, and you need to do this so that you can make money, and you can be successful, and you can be okay. Well, I tell you what, when I joined the new rich, my budget got cut by so much that I realized how much stuff I was living with that I didn't actually need, that it was more of a made me feel like I was keeping up the Joneses luxury, that I can tell you honestly today, as a mother, a single mother of two children, a student and an independent business owner, the new rich is the new rich. All right, guys, I love you very, very much, and I will see you soon. Bye.